So you're thinking about moving to Seal Beach and you want to know, is it worth it? In this video, we're going to go over all the pros and cons, and by the end, you'll definitely have a better understanding of what the city is like and if you should make the move. But before we dive in, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. And whether you're looking to move in two months or two years, I'd love to have the opportunity to help you, so please reach out. Seal Beach is one of my favorite cities in Orange County. I went to school in the area and grew up going to the beach all the time. I love the weather and the community, but I love all of the great restaurants, and we'll talk about all of those later. But I did want to mention, when we talk about Seal Beach, we are not including Leisure World or the Naval Weapon Station. Those communities are a part of the city, but are very different, and I'll address those on another video later on. Today, we're referring to Surfside, College Park East, College Park West, Marina Park, Old Town, and The Hill. So let's get into it. Pro number one, great weather and scenery. Just like most of coastal Orange County, Seal Beach has great weather. Living in Seal Beach, you can wear flip-flops and shorts year round, and most locals do. Summers are warm and dry, while winters are mild with occasional rain. Spring and fall offer great weather, making it an attractive place to live for those who prefer not to deal with extreme seasons. As far as the scenery, Seal Beach features a scenic coastline along the Pacific Ocean with 2.5 miles of beach with a popular pier and well-maintained residential neighborhoods. This making Seal Beach such a great place to live. Con number one, tourists and crowds. Seal Beach Main Street and the pier can attract tourists, especially during the summer months. This can lead to crowded beaches and streets, which some residents may find inconvenient. This could be an issue, especially if you live on the Gold Coast or close to the boardwalk. I've always said Seal Beach is one of Orange County's best kept secrets, but if you live in the surrounding cities, you do know how special this place is. Pro number two, outdoor activities. The city offers numerous opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts. You can enjoy the beach, hiking, biking, and spending time at a local park. The Seal Beach National Wildlife Refuge is a haven for bird watchers and nature lovers. Gum Grove is a place that lots of locals take their dogs and a great place to go on a run or a walk. It's covered by eucalyptus trees and sits right by the wetlands. You can also see some wildlife there. So it's definitely a place you wanna check out if you live in the area or when you go to visit. Con number two, natural disasters. Seal Beach, like most of California, is susceptible to natural disasters, including earthquakes and wildfires, but also floods and tsunamis. Every year, residents that live close to the water have to prepare for floods, but they also have to deal with the risk of a tsunami. I know tsunamis don't happen all the time here in California, but it's something you have to keep in mind when moving to the area. Pro number three, strong community. The tight-knit community in Seal Beach is a big draw. It's a place where neighbors know each other and local events and festivals bring people together. Events like summer concerts, the Seal Beach Marathon, and the classic car show are big events that bring out many locals. There's a true sense of belonging in the community and everybody looks out for each other. It's what makes Seal Beach so special. Con number three, diverse job opportunities. While there are job opportunities in and around Seal Beach, the diversity and quantity of jobs may differ from what you could find in larger areas like Los Angeles or Irvine. But being so close to Los Angeles and being in Orange County does give you the opportunity to live in a beautiful area and commute to a job that is in a bigger market. Pro number four, great schools. Lots of my clients love Seal Beach because of the opportunity to get into the Los Alamitos School District. According to Niche.com, they've graded the schools available in Seal Beach an A+. I personally went to school in the Los Alamitos School District, and I can say the education system is top notch. Con number four, housing availability and prices. While housing prices are high, Finding properties can also be a real challenge. The real estate market can be competitive and it may take time finding the right home. Finding properties on market is a challenge while inventory is so tight. I recommend reaching out to someone who might have their finger on the pulse and may be able to find you an off-market opportunity. Also, 
home prices are extremely high in Seal Beach. The average price for a single family home is about $1 million. Pro number five, proximity to amenities. Living in Seal Beach means you're close to major attractions like Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, shopping centers, and several major airports. You are in between two of the biggest economies in California, Los Angeles and Orange County. And being in Seal Beach, you are the far most north city in the county, and you'd be right next to Long Beach and close to all the freeways to get to Los Angeles. Con number five, limited nightlife. If you're looking for a bustling nightlife scene, there might be a better place for you than Seal Beach. It's a smaller residential community and the nightlife options are limited compared to larger cities. So better options are Long Beach, Huntington Beach, or Los Angeles. If you're looking for a city with a lot going on in the evening. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there are numerous places I really enjoy eating at in Seal Beach. The first restaurant you must check out is Nick's Deli's on Main Street one of the best breakfast burritos in the area. It's cash only, so don't forget to drop by the ATM. The second one is Patty's Place on PCH. Great seafood and steaks, and the ambience is so good with excellent service. It's got a very old school, classic feel to it. And the last one is Spaghettini's on Old Ranch Parkway. It's literally right off the 405 freeway. It's great Italian food, and they can cook a mean filet as well. It's one of the only places you can see live music in Seal Beach. So if you're in the area, make sure to check out one of those restaurants, or if you can, all of them. So there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of living in Seal Beach. The city has a lot of upside, but it does have some downfalls. So if you want any more information, or you would like to discuss some options regarding moving to Seal Beach or surrounding areas, please reach out to me directly. All of my contact info is in the description below. My name is Rick Lee with Real Broker and I will catch you on the next one.